Well, as we've seen, um, convergence is bringing uh, te technologies together, such as mobile, computer, uh, information technologies. All these are converging. And uh, with that, of course, it's uh, creating uh, new opportunities, but also some challenges. Um, because uh, we're basically working towards uh, common platforms that uh, industries such as the energy sector, transportation sector, health sector can use in common, um, it's bringing the need for these industries also to come together. So there is convergence not of only of technologies but also of these vertical industry sectors. And the demarcation lines between the responsibilities of all these different organizations is also blurring due to this convergence. So. Um, this is uh, also affecting, of course, the, the role of ITU, since we now have to work with um, these organizations and entities that previously had no involvement in the organization. So it's a new paradigm shift that uh, we're dealing with, and uh, this is uh, one of the exciting things that we'll be discussing uh, this week in Telecom World. The uh, importance of standards is becoming more and more uh, appreciated, even at a uh, political level, uh, because it's only through international standards that we can ensure that we're going to benefit from the economies of scale of uh, equipment and products coming onto a worldwide market. It also means that uh, startup companies in developing countries can enter into this uh, common market. Um, so it's very important uh, from that aspect and also to ensure uh, the interoperability of these products and services. And this is why um, in ITU we started our program on convergence and interoperability, to ensure exactly that, that uh, anyone anywhere can develop products and services to ITU standards and enter into this global market, but also that the user can also benefit uh, from the use of those products and services anywhere in the world. Well, ITU is, a, is an international partnership of the public and the private sectors. So this is an opportunity for both to come together and um, discuss in a fairly informal environment um, how they see the future how we can develop better collaborative uh, partnerships between the public and the private sector, and how we can uh, outreach and involve these vertical sectors, which previously had no involvement in ITU. So um, we're seeing uh, at this event uh, many new actors coming along, and uh, we hope that they'll be leaving here with um, a better understanding of the organization and how to contribute to our future work. I believe um, we all have uh, a responsibility to contribute to this dialogue, um, both those from the traditional participants in ITU, but also the, and perhaps especially the new participants to contribute to how the ICT sector is going to develop in the future because the ICT sector is prevalent in all walks of life, all businesses and, uh, and social economies. So how it develops is going to determine how future governance networks, both uh, legislation and the social and economic fiber of the um, life in the future will develop. So it's a very important role that, uh, and we all need to contribute to that uh, dialogue.